Yo, so guys, welcome to four challenges in one. My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and this one we'll be covering the In Case of Shortage challenge, the Broken Hearted Redacted challenge as well. We'll also be covering the uh, Oil and Water challenge. And finally, we'll be covering the Shockingly Pure challenge. So for uh, the first set of challenges, we're going to be using this set of equipment. Fiber wire, coin, pistol, main entrance, casual mode. So from the very start, we're just going to run straight through this heavily guarded section. And then uh, what we're going to do is stick to the right and then crouch all the way along. And we're going to circle around the other side. Once you get to the other side, we're going to throw a coin just behind these set of crates. It's going to distract a uh, security guard. And then he's going to come over and then we're going to subdue him. And then we're going to hide his body in the crate and then grab his disguise. Make sure you pick up the pistol on the floor as well. Otherwise that woman will see it and she will go over way and tell someone about it. So once we grab the security guard disguise, we are going to go over here and turn on this tap. Once you turn on this tap, that's how you get uh, in case of shortage challenge, redacted challenge completed. Refilling those bottles. Next challenge, broken hearted. What we need to do is uh, pierce the fuel tank of the car. And once you see the fuel puddle on the floor, then go ahead and explode it. Now what's going to happen is AJ is going to come over, he's going to act hysterical. Because that was his precious baby. And we've destroyed it. And that's when you'll get the broken hearted challenge complete. There we go. So now moving on, we can go and replan the mission. So for this one, we need to bring along the briefcase, have your Krugermeyer installed in it, bring the uh, bring your coin and bring along the Seeker 1, which is the uh, emetic tranquilizer you get from Haven Island, which is unlocked at mastery level 6 or something. Anyway, we're going to need this to make him sick, so make him sick any way you want to, if you haven't got this, but haven't got this tranquilizer. But once we've gotten through to this area, we're going to go ahead and shoot him. Just the once will do. But like I said, if you haven't got this tranquilizer, then just poison him uh, with the water bottle when you disguise yourself as one of the uh, servers. Because we just need to get him over the other side, that's all. Pull your uh, Krugermite or your pistol out of your briefcase. And then throw your coin behind these set of crates. We're going to distract the uh, security officer again. Let's subdue him from around the corner. And grab his pistol. I'm gonna drag his body and then dump him in the crate. Grab his disguise. Once we've done that, we're gonna take out everyone in this area basically. So we're gonna go first start off with this, with this woman right here. Pistol elimination. And then they wanna take out the dude that's just opposite you. Again, people are going to start freaking out, but don't worry about it. Just make sure you just take everyone out in the area. I was trying to initially do this silently, but uh, it doesn't always work out that way. But as long as we take everyone out in the area, it shouldn't cause too much panic. Especially when the target's already being preoccupied. So all that's left in the area now is his guard and the target himself. Quickly take out his uh, guard. And knock him out. Now we're just going to drag his body over towards the uh, the fuel barrel. I did try to do this legit, and I can't find a legit way of actually getting in just to stand on a puddle of fuel. There's probably an opportunity or something I'm missing that's that makes him go over there, but I can't uh, I can't work out how to do it because I've dropped a coin. He goes and calls someone else. You can't place the coin because for some reason you can't do that in a puddle. I don't know why. But uh, once you drop it, you yeah, can't tell everybody else. So what we're going to do? We're just going to do it this way. We're going to drag him. Pierce the fuel and then set them on fire. Oil and water completed. And then we can move on to the electrocution one. So restart, just make sure you just bring your uh, silver ball at this time though. I threw a coin of this direction just to get the security guards to turn around, but we didn't need to. This was uh, one of my early videos before I realized you can just run straight past these guards completely. But this one is relatively easy as well. We just need to be patient here. 
and I recommended the silver ball, the silver baller, rather not the silver ball, but the silver baller just because it's the most accurate pistol there is. So what we need to do is target right so we shoot that plug just as he's about to walk near it. So I'm going to stop him in his tracks. As soon as he starts walking again, we're going to pierce this water bottle. There. What that's going to do is electrocute him because it's right on top of him. And that's how we get this shockingly pure challenge completed as well. And if you make a quick exit without anyone seeing you, you can make a quick silent assassin and that will work on all of the difficulties. I don't see how it wouldn't work on any other difficulty either. But that's a quick, easy silent assassin as well. Suit only on top of that. It's just a very, very easy uh, challenge overall. So we've got one more ch challenge to cover after this. And that's the uh, space program redacted challenge that I'll be covering. And that's the last challenge I've got for this special assignment. And that is going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. Uh, or clicking the link in the description of all the details of all the different perks you can get from becoming different tiers of the membership. Big shout out to Arjo and the Shave becoming the top member of the channel. And uh, there will also be a link in the description of the full playlist of videos for the special assignment I've covered so far. Again, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.